What is up, people on YouTube? We are back. Snake our act. Take my headset off here. It's hurting my ears. All right. What do we want to do? What kind of build? We did a sorcerer build last time. We've never done a mage build. We have done rogue. I think just a rogue is just good to start off with. <clears throat> Even if we don't stick with that as our build. Let's do that. Shoot stuff. Chains together. This is what? New game plus four? What does it go up to? How long can a snake get? Ah! Oh, he said, how long does a snake get? Ultra kill. Yeah, I should check out ultra kill at some point in time. A second scout. Builder. We did kind of try builder. I'm going to go right now. Rogue healer. New game plus three. So our party size is 10. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. The white dude shoots at you. You want to take the white dude out immediately. The little green things, those are heal orbs. Forever low. Well, it's not the most exciting build so far. But what am I supposed to do? I've been using all my money. That's all I got. Gonna make me work for it, I guess. Another scout. Storm Weaver. Infuser projectiles of chain lightning that deal 20% damage to two enemies. Chain lightning on a chaining thing sounds pretty chainful. That's, that's a bad joke. A mythical Christmas build. What about the blue, though? Thanks for showing me this game. I've been having lots of fun with it. Green guy gives them a. Speed boost if he gets killed. Yep, yeah, just like that. The chaining, that's kind of dope. Chaining with the chaining. We can always up our chaining as well. Dick Chaney build. If we can get uh, the appropriate items. It says it infuses the projectile, so it does seem like the projectile itself, by chaining, is doing multiple chain lightning strikes because it's the projectile itself. Got a blast. Why don't you control your snake with mouse? I think uh, left right is much easier. It's it's a binary left or right. There's no speed or anything like that. Mouse seems like it would be uh, more difficult. An ally dies. Corpse curses applied doom. Position one generates one psyker orb every ten seconds or defense to all allies when a warrior is hit. Reroll. Max curse. Mercenaries. Critters die immediately. Banely mercy course. Taking damage also shares that across all enemies. Psycho leak is dope. I'm, down, I'm not really down with any of this. Maybe Crucio? Going hard. Stun. Critter. Pulls an area in on sorcerer spell repeat or constructs. Yikes. Done. I hate all of that. Throw a merchant into the build. Have you ever gone Enchanter? 20% attack speed all. No, this is terrible. This is a horrible start. All of that was bad. Yeah, none of that was what I wanted. Was that the stun when it was just spinning around? 
I wonder if the chain lightning has like a, a chance, right? It like it chains to the enemies, but it also does chain lightning. And I wonder if every single time it touches anybody, there's a 8% chance that it stuns them. All right, all right, all right. Magician, no. Sorcerer. Go hard scout, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. We're getting trashed, man. We're getting trashed on. Remember to hydrate. It's been a long stream. You know what? Good idea. As soon as we start getting the special dudes, I think we're going to be in trouble. We have one one guy that does damage. And we're just not making that much money either. Not giving up us very much money. Up the explosion. Mercenary rogue build. I just don't have that much money for the merc to do anything with yet. There's a miner though. Picking up gold releases four homing projectiles. Bellblade, mage rogue. Those knives that deal 18-2 damage pierces and spirals outward. Spirals outward? What does that mean? It shoots and when it lands, it spirals outwards? Or it shoots it in a spiral outward pattern? Buy it all. Alien fire team looks sweet. Oh, okay, I see them. Yep, they, they spiral out like that. That's not going to help me with the elite. We're going to be in trouble, I think, in this elite fight. Spellblade's gone. About to lose the miner, which is fine because we don't have gold that drops. Being completely carried by the red guy. Our chain lightning is gone. Nope, never mind. Chain lightning is still there. Got him. That was tough. Assassination. Chris from Rogues deal 8, 10, 12. We do have Rogue. Two rogues. Constructs explode when disappearing. Mercenaries deal X percent damage, where X is how much gold you have. Nukers gain 1% area size and damage every second. <sighs> we don't even have a chance for crits to ro or uh, rogues to crit, I mean. This is bad. This is like super bad. Are we gonna go Merc build? Probably not. Rogue Merc. Eight percent chance for enemies to drop gold on death. 
15% chance for rogues to crit dealing 4x damage and then crits from rogues deal eight times the damage. But normal attacks deal half. I didn't read that. I did not read that. Should have read all the way through that one. Well, half damage. Open on those 8% crits. Hold R. Oh, we'll get some crits. We'll get some crits. Remember the chaining. Start to get some gold dropped as well. 8% chance that they drop gold on death. We're doing it. I don't know how we're doing it, but we're doing it. Look at that gold. The miner explodes in the little shots when I pick up the gold. Um, at this point in time, we really should just focus on going pure rogue to get our crits, crit chance up to 30. Save the money, I guess. We. Seems spicy-ish. I could honestly get rid of the enchanter stuff that's going on. That orange guy's got to go. Thank you. When we get a crit, eight times the crit damage. One crit is all it takes to kill pretty much everybody. Got to get that orange. There we go. Thank you. Yikes, that was a risky maneuver. Give me some crits, yeah, buddy. Stormweaver. I know I said enchanters suck, but uh, let's see here. If we get level three Stormweaver, chain lightning's trigger effect, area of effect, and number of units hit is doubled. Could be really good. Get up the uh, 10 times crit. 16% chance to stun could be good. Level two cleric. More healing? Assassin Rogue. We're filling up the, the team here. Another Rogue. Cursor Rogue. Avoider Cursor, but we got five out of six Rogues. Nuker, I thought that was Rogue for a second. All right, send it. More things shooting, but we have a long snake, so it's gonna be hard to like steer it and not have the back die. Just one crit, man. One spawn is all it takes, though, like that. Start spawning on us, then we're just gonna lose half our team. Start trying to maybe ride over known spawn locations. Front runner, front runner died. Was gunned down. Thank God I bought all those other guys that shoot stuff. Cause he was like for the longest time our only thing that was dealing any damage. All right. 8% chance for attacks to spawn a healing orb. 8%, 258% damage to all allies whenever an enchanter is hit. First and last position have better defense and projectiles that chain gain damage with each chain. Chain. Merchant. 
We don't even have a merchant. I feel like we should get a merchant at this point in time. Get rid of ah, the spiral spell blades of rogue though. Get rid of the cleric. Maybe. We're gonna go rogue mercenary? Or should we go rogue healer? Drop the storm weaver. It infuses projectiles with chain lightning. And then this is a, you know, ultimatum. Projectiles that chain deal damage with each chain. Doesn't that make sense to keep the chain gang? You gain a party size each time you beat the game? Yes. New game plus three is plus three party. Stormweaver is great. I don't think the lightning counts as a projectile. Yeah, I don't know. But shouldn't we just chain on the chain on the chain of chain? If the projectile deals chain lightning that deals 20% damage to two enemies, 20% of the damage. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see if I get rid of it and what happens. Plus one interest for every 10 gold. Level 3 out of 4 mercenary for the chance of enemies dropping gold. That orange dude. Freaking snake. Unwieldy. We could go a number of different ways here. We could do a Merc build. We could continue with the Rogue. We could go Healer, even. Healers are pumping. Psy Keeper is a healer. Creates three healing orbs every time it takes 25% of its max HP. Spellblade's the one that I feel like I could get rid of. But five out of six Rogue makes me think that we should really keep it I'm gonna go healer, then I'm gonna get rid of mercenary. If I'm gonna go mercenary, I'm probably gonna get rid of one of my healers. Maybe my chronomancer even, to be honest. I'm gonna merc and rogue build. I have that merc rogue right here, thief. My top dude. Spellblade never feels like it belongs in a rogue build. Yeah, I hate it. To be honest. Put it in the back, maybe. Merchant level two. Usurer. Merc. Versus three nearby enemies indefinitely with debt dealing 13 damage per second. Fourth. Fourth dude. Cleric is out. Usurer is in. That's full mark build. 16% chance for enemies to drop gold on death. Stunning strike up. We have two out of three. Two out of four cursor. Two out of four voider. Five out of six rogue. Four out of four merc. Three, two out of three, uh, two out of six mage, I guess. Healer enchanter. I'm 
going to be rich. Hopefully. Rich and not dead. Gotta watch out for the blue explosions. Really hard to dodge, though, with this long of a snake. crazy. Get rid of my priest. Grab the fairy. We'll still have two healers. No, I won't. We'll have two enchanters. Plus 15% damage to all allies. Plus the fairy will boost 100% attack speed for six seconds to somebody. Better, better healer, maybe. Out of 25. We need to step it up. We're halfway. This elite will be a good uh, judge for how we're doing here. We're dying. Because of all these blue shots that are coming across the screen. The death's really getting at that uh, elite, though. Wow, that was so many things. Get that gold! Ah, it's right there. Instantly kill elites below 10, 20, 30 HP. Rotating around yourself to the right releases two, three, four projectiles per second. All projectiles thrown by rogues chain plus times. And warriors gain us definitely flying daggers. 100%. 100%. All the way upgraded. All the money goes there now. But Highlander. What do we got here? Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 1, Tier 4, Tier 4, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 3. How much do we want to get Scout all the way up? Plus 3 chains. It'd be dope. Chronomancer, enemies take damage over time 50% faster. That's not the best. Except for Assassin and Usurer. Deal damage over time. I want a different rogue for my spell blade. That's what I want. Rogue party? I feel like they should allow you if if they have multiple classes, they should let you pick the color of whatever class you want. I love gold. Lots of gold this time. Maybe XY57, what's up? Welcome back. Lots of gold that time. Damn! 17 gold picked up! Miner, what do you got? Picks up gold, releases four homing projectiles that deal 10 damage. Level two is 20 damage. Doubled that. Three away from level three merchant, which just makes your first item reroll free. Could be good, though. Could be decent. I have no idea what the heck is going on. This is all panda. Here's my party. My party has certain classes. This guy's a scout, which is a class rogue. 
The Chronomancer is class Mage Enchanter. Merchant is a class Mercenary. Here's all the classes that I have. And all the lights mean I've got four Mercenary class in here. That would be Merchant, Thief, Miner, and Usurer. So that means I have the, uh, the thing that gives me the bonus for four. That's why the fours load up. 16% chance for enemies to drop gold on death. Right? I can re-roll the shop. This is where I'm buying from to add. If I buy the same one, if I buy another merchant, it adds on to that same merchant and I can get it up from level one to level two to level three. Scout. So that's, uh, I need uh, one more level two and that'll bump this up to a level three. Oh, there's items that affect all my stuff too. Merchant's almost level three. Thief, that's a good one. Dual Gunner. That could be my rogue instead of my spell blade. We are not. We don't have the mage bonus. Let's do a dual gunner here. It's a tier two, you can see. It costs two as well for the tier two. Now we maintain. Oh, you know what? I should have kept the other one. I thought that was our, our sixth rogue. We should have dumped somebody else off, I guess. Oh, well. Getting into that sixth rogue is going to be pretty good. One more rogue, please. Oh, who would I get rid of for another rogue, though? I don't know. If four ticks under a block, do four more blocks physically appear? What's a block? What do you mean? My snake pieces? That gold, man. Leave me alone. The purple guys, they spit out the children. The babies. Little purple dudes. When you ra rebound off walls is so strange, lol. Asking about the number of each class you have in the party. Oh. If you have four ticks under a block, do four more blocks physically appear? I have, I don't know what that means. What you're what you're asking. Um, but like this, I've got four ticks. That just means I'm level four. If you're talking about these ticks, this is telling me I this would be my sixth rogue. So if I picked it up, like this one would be my third voider. This would be my first sorcerer. This is the party itself over here, yeah. Now, I'm gonna buy the spell blade back because I need that sixth rogue. Who am I gonna get rid of? I don't wanna get rid of a merc. We have Merc, Rogue, 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 Merc, Enchanter, Healer, Rogue, Merc, Chronomancer, probably the Chronomancer, goddammit. Upping the crit chance, doubling the crit chance is far more important than 20% attack speed. Sorry, mate. Clock, what up? We're leveling these guys up. Some of them gain uh, a bonus, like the miner at level two, bumped up from 10 damage to 20 damage. Some of them don't gain a bonus until level three. Level three, the uh, effect is underneath. This is level three effect. The golden bolts release eight humming projectiles instead of instead, and they pierce twice. So a level three miner is pretty good. The level three effects in all of them are saucy. Right now we have a level three shop. That means that there is a 25% chance to get a tier one um, unit and a 45% chance for a tier two and so on and so forth. We can lower or increase the shop if we want to. It costs money though to do so. So 
So let's say that we were really gunning for a scout. It's a tier one. There's only a 25% chance to get a tier one when I reroll. So I could decrease the shop if I needed to. Lock that in. Bye next time. Boop, 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 boop. Isn't that satisfying when you hit the wall? So our crit rate should be through the roof, and we're doing a ton more damage. I think 12 times more damage for every crit. But that's not even that true, though. It's 12 times the normal damage, but every attack now does half damage. Sniper. I just, I just headbutted him because I wanted to get rid of him, and I ended up losing my front runner guy. Oh god, oh god, they're shooting. They be shooting, they be shooting. That that's not good for me. But anyways, if everything does 12 times damage when it crits, but everything normally does half, then that's 24 times damage of the normal standard shot. We're doing our math. When an enemy hits walls, they explode. Nah. Critters. Raburos. Awakening. Attack speed and damage to one mage every round for that round. No. Reroll. Curses apply doom, dealing 100, 150, 200 damage every 4, 3, 2 doom instances. Um. We do have a lot of cursors. You, sir, is a cursor. Jester is a cursor. Just two, then. Still, maybe worth it. Projectile damage maybe is the one to go with. Ballista, it's just standard. Are you supposed to counter shots besides dodging? You just you just don't. Try harder. 15, 6 damage. What is it now? 31, 2 damage on dual gunner. Plus 50% projectile damage. Level 3 scout. Chains plus 3 times. And it gains... 30% damage with each chain. So if it chains 6 times, that's 6 times 30. 180% damage on the last hit. Pretty damn good. Shop unlock. Seems suboptimal. What does? Plus 50% uh, projectile damage? Go for that blue explosion. Yeah. You had the shop locked. Oh, I see what you mean. It was still locked. It saves the lock status. I didn't know that. Honestly, first time I've ever locked a shop. Not gonna lie. Stunning Strike, should we just upgrade that? Nah, I think going for level 3 is going to be better for us. Beastmaster! Throws a knife that deals 13 damage, spawns 2 critters if it crits, is a rogue. We could swap something out for a Beastmaster if we're not liking one of our rogues. Thief is, like, our lowest right now, but it chains 5 times. And if the knife crits deals 520 damage, chains 10 times, and grants 1 gold. Ultra kill, Thief level 3. Seems like the coolest thing ever. Um, Jester with the curse. Exploding on 4 knives on death. That's good for crowd control, but... Get rid of Spellblade. Do we have Spellblade still? We do have the freaking Spellblade. You're right. The Beastmaster in there. 
spell blades still in there. I remember we had to buy them back so that we could get the sixth rogue. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. Can't get another scout. We already have the fully upgraded scout. You can't put two scouts in there. Lock it in. I want to stay at 30 so we get the bonuses for the interest per 10, right? Re-upgrade shop. Look at that. Oh, I didn't even notice the blue things exploding. Can you teach me how to teleport in Minecraft? Haha, you looked up my oldest video. Oh. That gold thief 26 damage level two is gonna do what 52 damage very good oh you know what we haven't even done crits from rogue up to 12 times let's do that hopefully upgrade that assassination outlaw was a fan of five knives. No, I don't like that one. What's the level three though? 50% outlaw attack speed and knives seek enemies. Seeking would be really good, but. I would maybe trade Jester for outlaw. You sure or is it maxed? No, I'll get him for sure. For you sure -er. What's the difference between a homing projectile and a critter? A homing projectile is a projectile that homes. A critter is a critter that homes. Beast? I don't want to get rid of the beastie beast. Or get rid of the dual gunner. All projectiles thrown by a rogue chain four times. Dual gunner chains, though, right? Dual gunner chains. What's up, Scone? Horrible joke. You just came in here to give me shit. Huh? Is that it? Is that what you do? There was a piercing knight that deals 33.8 damage and plus 16.9 damage per second. Do we need that? Assassin. I don't really have DOT buffs. Let's just forget about the outlaw. Beastmaster. Spawning critters. Um, if it crits. Remember, it's a... Uh, 30% chance that it crits, I think. Elite. Done. You're already dead. Pretty lame, we didn't get a chance to get that much gold that time. Death six. Position six takes 10% of its health is damaged every three seconds. That's like, I'm pretty sure that's only good on the Psyker that, um, spawns healing orbs when it takes 25% of its damage. So that's shit, because let's say number four dies. Well, now your number six has been bumped up to number five. That's just not good. Global damage, defense, and attack speed if you have one or more enchanters. Yes, we do. Our fairy is the only one. 
30% global damage, defense, and attack speed, though, is pretty good. Most of the psychers need to take damage. You're the reason I got Twitch a couple years ago. Just notice you're live. I want to say I love your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Leonardo. What do you guys think? Reroll? Something bigger? Do reinforce. It's great. Reroll, 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 reroll. Get stuff done before work tomorrow night, says PK. <laughs> Got work in the morning. Reinforce is probably worth it for the global stat buff. I get more rerolls though. Everyone wants me to reroll. Movement speed. Area size. Chance for attacks to critically strike, dealing two times damage. All warriors. Yeah, critical strike here is, is the no brainer. Plus 15% chance, plus the 30% chance. There is a 45% chance that everything crits. Mind you, dealing 12 times the amount of damage, but half normal. So compared to normal, dealing 24 times damage, 45% of the time. Also, Beastmaster is spawning more critters on crits. All right, all right. That's the one. That's the one for me. If we spawn critters, they'll be orange, I think. We're killing things before they live. We're spawn killing. Uh-oh. Almost spawn killed me. There's my orange critter. Critter, go! <laughs> it just goes, boop, dead. Damn, my cousin Ray Ray. Yeah, our critters are really not doing a whole lot. He died for your snake. Ripping snakes. Snake and rips. We bump up stun. They don't do that much damage. Yeah, Baneling Burst. I mean, you, you can... Uh, we obviously had that one critter build that was amazing. It was probably one of the best builds that I've seen. But yeah, base critters are nothing crazy. There's a fair amount of critters we had right there. Spawning when we do critical damage. Criti critical? Critical damage? Not to be having a stroke. Thief. Level three thief, I need it. Need that shit in my life. I also need, let's see, what, what do we need? Tier four, tier four, tier two, tier two, tier two, tier three, tier two, tier three. We have highest chance for tier two. Maybe we should upgrade our shop once. Maybe we should just get the insurance money. We're almost at 25, we need to step it up now. Boss number 24 is the one that you need to kill it before it lives or uh, or you lose. Was that one of my bullets that I shot that just flung across the screen like that? What is up with that? Crazy. Oh, crazy. Strong. Real strong. I like how rewarding this game is when you actually go for a build. The builds that they made are like 
for real, it's like super solid. Reinforce is back. Healing strike. 8% chance for attacks to spawn a healing orb. Let's just take the reinforcement. Reinforce. You sure are almost level 3. If the same enemy is cursed three times, it takes 520 damage. Probably not going to be the best thing. That sounds better for a curse build, but... Beef is getting up there. Chow, 50 bucks? What are you doing? I'm putting glasses on for you. Thank you so much. Put some fun ones on, huh? There's battery in this. Yo, thank you so much. That is very generous of you to do that. Batteries in this thing? It's working. Kind of looks like I might die any second, though. This is for you. Ridiculous? What do you mean these glasses are ridiculous? Did I sell my shop locked? Pop lock and drop it. All right, we want to spend everything in like two two waves. Not very much money here. Please start paying out with more money. What do the yellow guys do? They just seem like they have tons of health. Healing orb, 8% chance would probably yield quite a bit of healing orb as well. Wouldn't have been anything wrong with it. The yellow ones are the orange ones, maybe. They're armored. That's the amount of gold that I wanted to see. 43 gold I just collected. They throw other enemies into you. It's uh, level 23. Are we are we moving on to level 23, or did we just do level 23? I had those glasses too because of you. <laughs> moving on to level 23. Abyss, head to bed. Good night, chat. Good night. Thanks for sticking with me. I feel like I should just keep a hundred and get the max amount. Max amount of, uh, mercenary gold. By moving on to level 23, we should be fine. Yes, good. And then we'll spend it all, all of it, immediately before level 24. We should be able to handle this. So orange ones chuck themselves and yellow ones chuck other things. Is that how that works? The chaining. The, the chaining is crazy. It just goes through everything. They chain for such a long time too. Gold, please.
I just head at the enemies, knowing that I'm gonna kill them by the time I get there. That's bad. Don't, don't let them spawn inside of you. Oh, we lost somebody. It's been a while since I felt pain. Critter, go! Critter, I hardly know her. A lot of low health units. Not the easiest run here. I did not crit her. Spend everything now. We're still looking for a tier four, tier four, tier two, yikes. Tier two, we're sitting at a 25% chance tier two. Tier two, tier two, tier two, tier three, tier two, tier three. So level three, highest chance for level three is probably where we want to be. Thief level three, that's the one, ultra kill. If the knife crits, deal 520 damage, chains 10 times, and grants one gold. So, 520 damage, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, times 12. Chaining 14 times, which gives it a plus 30% per chain. 30% times 14 is a large number, times 520 times 12 right am i not am i right about that B uh, plus a, an extra 30 percent global damage plus an extra 50 percent projectile damage Seven thousand nine hundred eighty-seven. that seems insane not to mention that my normal knives are dealing 104 and chaining five, nine times actually. Scorched Earth. Gonna blow the rest of our cash. Yeah, I'm gonna let it rip. Yeah, that was a tier four. We don't need the fairy tier four. We have a lot of tier two, so I say we reset the shop back one. And go for... Oh, I missed one. It was the fairy. It was the fairy. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's that Jester level three. All knives seek and pierce two times. When they explode into the knives. That's good. That's good. That's hot. Dual gunner level three. Every fifth attack shoots a rapid succession. And once again, these do count as rogue bullets. Um, because a dual gunner is ranger, but also a rogue. And so they're gonna chain. Went the crit stuff. Oh, this is good. Assassin level three. Poison inflicted from crits deal eight times damage. We are critting. Okay, I guess we got all of our tier two except for Beastmaster. <laughs> Goodbye, money. We did well though. We missed out on four small critters that the Beastmaster gets hit. Lame. Miner release eight homing projectiles, and they pierce twice. From collecting gold, that would have been good. Would have been pretty good. That's something for you to blow right here, says Cinevicta. That's disgusting, okay? Please, keep that shit out of here. You disgust me, you make me want to vomit. He 
He's gonna, oh god, the, thank god I, I, I froze him in place. It was just gonna walk into me. Woo! Creates an area that deals 30 DPS, two seconds on sorcerer spell. Nope. Max curse. Nope. When an ally dies, maybe. Constructs repeat. Nope. Ranger arrows. We do have a dual gunner. Ranger arrows have a higher chance to seek and pierce multiple times. If they pierce and they home, or not pierce, uh, sorry, no, blah, 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 not home. If they pierce and they chain, how does that work? Right? Knockback. They pierce and chain. How does that, what does that even make? I, that doesn't make sense in my head. Should we try it? Does it even matter at this point in time? Sin, what did you eat? Each hit can chain, but also continue on its path. Try it. Sounds insane. No such luck, though, for our dudes. Chicken parm and spaghetti. Pretty decent. Final boss. Look at them chaining and piercing around him like crazy, those green shots. They don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Achievement unlocked for Merc. So I finished it with uh, a full Merc build. Loop? Do one loop. So you wanted to play Sea of Thieves now. Got it. More. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Remember when we played Get to the Orange Door and I literally had to quit the game because I couldn't lose? I remember that. Don't you need to, like, eat and shit? Can I had a snack. Oh, well, gold there. There's gold in the air hill. You don't have to, though. I mean, I can call it and go to bed. It's fine. Fine by me. Minor level three, that's, that's really good. Get that breast master level three. More critters. We're just missing a tier three usurer and a tier four fairy. There it is, right there. You, sir, same inner enemy gets cursed three times. Takes a ton of damage. Not really... Oh, party size, you're right. We have uh, one extra slot. Who would we stuff in there? Plus damage to all allies. If we get another enchanter. We could do a healer. We could do another swarmer and get some more critters in there. Can you play tomorrow? Um... No. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna call it after this. Curses six nearby enemies for six seconds that will create small void rifts on death. Bane sounds pretty cool. We do have cursors and voiders. Get the chronomancer back in. Let's try Bane. Witch, remember witch? There's Chronomancer. How about Stormweaver, though? Remember that with the Chain Lightning? Yeah, Bane, you're out. Stormweaver's back in.
Storm Weaver back in. Look how big our snake is. I don't even have time to get the gold. Storm Weaver with all your attacks. Cannot defeat me. God, I gotta get the gold, man. Uh, let's get rid of items that we don't want. Stunning? <laughs> Ballista? <laughs> Global damage? Don't need it. I think I need damage. Just shows how sad and pathetic you really are. Wiraburos could be fun. Enemies spawn with minus health, and when enemies hit walls, to create an area based on knockback force. Movement speed. Reinforce. Hey, look at that. Chances for attacks to push enemies away with high force. That just sounds like fun. 30% chance that we're just going to chuck people. Get chucked all over. Just going to do a hard chuck. Still looking for a fairy, I guess. Stormweaver level 3 is chain lightnings trigger an area of effect and the number of units hit is doubled. All kinds of deliciousness. I'm with less health does not sound bad. Yeah, that would probably be one though that I would get rid of because it's like good, but not amazing. This one I just honestly grabbed because I thought it sounded fun. Or throwing the enemies around, see what it looked like. True, it did. Done. All right. Okay. Sure, sure. And we don't run through spawn points, dot, dot, dot. I'm not, I'm really not worried at this point in time. If we can kill a spawn fast enough, all right, I'm probably going to get rid of kinetic strike. If we can kill it fast enough, it just glitches the game out and, uh, claims to have spawned the rest of the waves. Be cool if they could fix that bug. Psycho Sync, Resonance, Divine Barrier, Ricocheting Barrage. Enemies take damage over time, have minus movement speed. Nuker, Cursed, deal damage to all enemies based on how many mages you have. Chance to release a Ricocheting Barrage on Healing Orb. Excuse me, streamer, that's Divine Punishment. What did I say? Not Divine Barrier. Divine Barrage. Critters. Chance to create more AoEs. Psyker. 8% chance for attacks to cause enemies to drop gold. Yeah. Lucky Strike. 
Let's get rid of the kinetic strike. I hate it. Storm Weaver level three. Bruh. Need two more fairies. Get a fairy for me. Yeah. Fairy. Get a fairy. Can you hand me a fairy? I wouldn't even mind getting rid of the fairy, but don't we have some sort of enchanter thing? I think we got rid of that. The global damage if we have an enchanter. If we did get rid of our fairy, what would I put in its place? Islander? Hive? More critters? Gambler. Do we have a gambler? 2x damage to a single random enemy where x is how much gold you have. Isn't it a chance or just bonus damage? 15% bonus damage. So, in other words, lame. Gambler sounds kind of lame, though, too. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I could get another chainer. Chainy bro. Dick Chainy, I would consider it, but. Jeez, I, just no fairies, man. Lucky strike, let's see what we can do with this gold. It'd be really cool if there was like a heal upon picking up gold thing. You could dump off all healers and just heal via gold. There's a lot of blue orbs flying around there. Uh, we're, we're taking a lot of damage there, Captain. I'm, I'm not sure we're going to be able to hold out. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Yikes. Barry is tier four, right? Yeah. We have max shop level, 50% chance for tier four. My goodness. We need one more. Done. Okay, I suppose the gambler could have been all right at this point in time. If I just stopped spending money, I'd have so much money saved up. Jesus, the blue orb. We got like gold on the other side of the screen. Oh. Oh. Stop the merchant for a gambler. Lead's dead. Lightning strike. Chance for projectiles to create chain lightning. Chain, chain, chain. I want the one that where we collect gold from further away. Elite Schmelit. Eat Schmidt and die. Look at us gold! We kill everybody just from the gold shots. The miner. Alright, we'll get to level 50 and then I'm gonna call it. amount of chaining lightning 
severe thunderstorm warning. What do we call it a thunderstorm warning when the thunder is just uh, a product of the lightning? Can it be a severe lightning storm? Because the lightning is what does the damage? Backseat YouTube Gamer, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate you. Thanks, my friend. Thunder loud, very scary. Sky boom. Tell me I'm wrong, though. You can't. There could be a sound wave, a shock wave so loud from the thunder that it breaks your windows. Chop, you have nothing to offer me. Too powerful. Your silly shops. Sheer amount of blues. Please stop. Please stop. I think it's a lightning storm, but the lightning is hitting the ground very often. Isn't there not thunder? Unless it hits the ground. Look at that chain! Look at those lightning strikes. My goodness. Lightning can travel between the clouds and make thunder. I thought that was called heat lightning, and I thought it was, like, practically silent. Where it's just like flashing and you don't hear any booms. It's just like, you know, like, oh, that's heat lightning. Between the clouds. Thunder happens anytime there's lightning. I don't know, high levels of electricity difference. It's the sound of the high levels of electricity difference. I thought it was the sound of heating up the air so loud that it like something about expansion and temperatures. Heat lightning is what happens when I leave the spoon in the microwave. Backseat YouTube game with another five gifted subs. Thank you for that. Very generous. Done for today. Gotta go to work. Have a great time at work. Thank you once again. Nature's whack. I saw the other day a bird, not saw, like personally, like it was on the internet, but there was a bird, a video of this bird that could mimic the sounds of all the other birds. And that's how it got a mate. And it could mimic the sounds of somebody with a chainsaw in the forest. Because I thought that maybe that was a bird or something. It was just imitating all the things that it, that it heard. One of them was a chainsaw. One of them was a car alarm. You know the one you're talking about. Like, that's- that's crazy! One of those things where you're like, that's definitely made up. They had the whole video. Whole video of it.
They should just send more blue things after me. That's really what was getting me. If I had a wave of nothing but blue things, it'd be over. Forty-seven, almost there. All right, not moving. One shot over there, and everyone died. Look at that. You guys sweating with how much gold is on screen right now? Nope, I'm laughing. Let's get the damn gold. I don't even need the damn gold. It's so hard for me to let gold go. That's because you live in a capitalistic society where you're taught to treasure gold over everything else. You're a bad person. America. You're damn right, Tim. Wouldn't have it any other way. Trust in the Lord, trust in your Ford, amen. Built different. Built Ford tough. Seven hundred fifty-six gold. Man, I kind of wish I had a gambler at this point in time. you had money to afford a gambler. Yeah, dude. Look at that one healing orb in the middle. What are you doing? I pray to four things. My Ford, my wife, white Jesus, and America. You guys know that Jesus was Middle Eastern? Jesus is probably olive skinned, yeah. You know, Jesus was Jewish. That's like everyone should know that. If you if you call yourself a Christian and you don't know that Jesus was a Jew, then like I just like what what you d d I I have nothing to I have nothing to say. I'm I'm I got nothing. Forty-nine, the biggin, way tougher than the final fifty. He's got me! Ah, he's dead. That was close though. He's a what? But name one movie where Jesus wasn't white. He sniffed you. Gross. <laughs> okay, yeah, good job. It's like, was his health loading or something? Whatever. We win.
Awesome stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you guys on YouTube for watching. I'll see you in the next video.